How's it going, man? What's your what's your sign say? Hi, right, buddy. Check it out. Is that read okay? Fuck Columbus. Native lives lives matter. Yeah. <laughs> That's funny. I'm glad you like it, buddy. You, you don't like it. It took me all night to make. Oh. <laughs> what? I so, really knocked this shit out in like five minutes. So Columbus didn't uh, discover America, right? Well, you could say he did. I, I suppose that argument could be made. Okay. But the indigenous people here that were here were trying to argue about Right. It, I'm not sure. I'm not a history professor. Though. Those are cool goggles you got. Do you like them? Thank yeah. you. They're actually yeah. ballistic rated too. Oh, nice. They're dark as fuck. Okay. Can't see shit. <laughs> so like they can take a bullet. No, um, they're they'll take a light buckshot, uh, like a game load or a high velocity fragments. They're in this high velocity. Or like a ricochet. Yeah, something like that. Okay. Hopefully. I don't know. I don't want the lenses fall out, which uh, oh. is not super encouraging. No, no, it's not. <laughs> you don't want to be the test dummy, right? When the lens falls out, right? No, I've had some bad jobs, but yeah, no, that's cool, man. That's that's uh, you're representing the native, huh? I don't know. Fucking more representing the hate on Columbus, I guess. Well, who do you think actually discovered America? The fucking Vikings. My ancestors. Oh shit! Hey. You hear about the rune stones down in Georgia? Look that shit up. See, the interesting thing about the Viking is... Wait, could you do me a favor and not like that? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, sorry. I'm just... Protect everyone, you know, like... Protect the children, you know? Oh, yeah. What's that? That's a small vaporizer. Oh, okay. Salts. Okay. I used to smoke cigarettes, but now I just... Well, not I see. Kind of I see. No, that's cool, man. That's uh, you got a good thing going, right? Col I don't know shit better than you know I'm for the Well, fuck Columbus, right? Columbus didn't do shit for us, right? I mean, it's all in the history books, right? He's not so nice of a guy. If you actually read about him, right? Yeah. He's in fact, you know, he uh, he cut off the government of girl's hand and trade for gold and all sorts of other things. Oh wow. Yeah. Okay. Um, some accounts, you know, you could argue that they were politically motivated. Some accounts actually cast them in quite a villainous light. Right. How long's the bus storm, do you think? I'm not sure. Like, it's Columbus Day, so it's a federal holiday. So I don't know if it's running on weekend hours. Or, like, so it should weekend. be free, right? Mm -hmm. It should be free, right? Well, I never paid for it. Really? No, um, I got a, uh, um, a working card that oh. the government on. Oh, okay. Yeah, I got all fucked up in Iraq, so they helped me out with some uh, Oh, so you're a veteran? Yes, sir. What what military branch? The United States Marine Corps. Oh, nice. Okay. What's your rank? Uh, I got out as a private first class. So how many years is that? Uh, I did three years and ten months. They kicked me out about two months before I normally would have AS because okay. uh, I tested positive on a P-test for uh, opium and amphetamines and marijuana. Uh, so, yeah. So that's like what E three or E four or E two? E two. I well, I got all the way up to E four, but they busted my ass down to E two. Oh, okay. Which is actually interesting because that's actually the rank I came in at. So that's nice. Okay, that's that's pretty cool, man. The problem is I can never remember where the fucking thing. <clears throat> you ever heard about uh, stolen valor? Yeah, I know all about stolen valor. What, what? I watch that shit on YouTube all oh, the time. Oh, do you? <laughs> it makes me fucking furious. Crazy, oh, right? Man, I've always wanted to catch someone. <laughs> <laughs> What would you do if you caught them? Oh, if they were wearing uniform material, I would literally cut it off them. Oh, wow. Yeah. You'd take it off? Yeah. Oh, shit. I, I fucking, like, packed fucking gauze into my homies, gaping my legs and chest wounds while they wore that uniform and shit. Like, it's, it's not okay. It's really not okay. Right. You know, if you just want to wear camouflage, that's cool. But when you actually, you know, lie about your history and stuff like that, it's crossing the line. So what was your MOS? I was a 0351 infantry assaultman. Okay. All right. Uh, so I was stationed in Campbell's Road, North Carolina. Um, I also spent a lot of time in uh, <clears throat> Pendleton. That's where I did my initial training because the Marine Corps never makes any fucking sense when it does anything. Right? Where was your boot camp at? San Diego. Which is just what I was going to say. I went to boot camp in San Diego, so of course they fucking stationed me in North Carolina. So what are the code names for those boot camps? Do you remember? Or? Huh? What are the, like, the code names for those boot camps? Uh, the MCRD, the Marine Corps Recruitment Depot. Like one of them's called Paris, right? Paris Island? Paris Island. That's the one in uh, What's the other one called? Uh, the Marine Corps Recruiting Depot of San Diego. Okay. Cool, man. It so, has really nice, interesting, uh, like Spanish mission inspired architecture. I think it actually has, um, uh, I don't know if, uh, if it's a recreation or just a foundation or something, but I know it has 
these uh, actual and actual Spanish style mission ruins in there somewhere that date all the way back to the 1700s. Okay. Okay. Yeah, the whole place is so beautiful and uh, perfectly spotlessly guarded. I never got to see much of that while I was actually in boot camp, but you know, right. actually walking around on the base ladder as well. This is actually a nice place. It's a big surprise. That's a cool hairdo. What do you call that style? I think at one point it was a mohawk. I oh, it's a mohawk. I, I kind of gave up. Okay, well, it looks like another. It looks like it's morphing into something else, huh? Those look like ski goggles. They are polarized. Oh, they're polarized. Okay. Yeah. That's yeah. Oh, yeah. That's nice. Good job, man. So, uh, you get you get money from the military, or? Uh, fortunately, yeah. Uh, the uh, Uncle Sam was kind enough to bless me with a very, uh, very generous discount. Like a dis like a like a settlement or like a monthly. Uh, yeah, monthly. Yeah, yeah, monthly. Do you want to disclose how much that is, or? It's, it's enough for me to get rent and groceries. That's about it. Okay. But still, considering what rent is, today, I feel. I feel Rent's crazy, isn't it? Rent's fucking crazy now. Holy shit, I used to rent like a fucking closet every fucking $900 a month. Whoa. Yeah. This place wasn't maybe early, maybe 10 by 10 or 10 by 12. Oh, so you're from Everett? Uh, I lived there for a while, yeah. What do you think about Everett cops? My experience has been negative, shall we say. How negative? Tell me all about it. I don't know. Every time that I've ever interacted with them, I guess I didn't say that they were uh, rude per se, but they were definitely very unpleasant in my opinion. Right. Uh, I think that they're overstepping their authority. You know, I'm a veteran of two foreign wars. I don't like being asked for my papers and then I don't know myself. So, you know, I usually give up my, my ID or whatever because, you know, I don't have uh, What were they stopping you for? What were they demanding ID for? Oh, uh, you know, all sorts of shit. Like, I didn't have a parking light uh, or the stupid uh, lamps over my license plate. Uh -huh. I was walking. They'll find something. Do you remember the officer's name? Yes, it was actually uh, Officer Inslee. I remember it was just the same as the governor's name. Officer Inslee? I have no idea what his badge number was. Okay. It's just one cop or many cops? Normally they show up in numbers, right? Oh, uh, you know. Yeah. Uh, well, the way they do it is they usually have me talking with just one of them, so that's the only one I remember. You know, a lot of people seem to have problems with Everett PD. A lot of people. They're, they seem to have a reputation behind them, and they seem to bother a lot of people. I hear lots of harassment. My friends that live there, they're harassed by them mercilessly. Mercilessly, right? Yep. Non-stop. Just... I mean, some of them are like criminals and drug users and stuff, so they have... But still, still like, unless accessible. you're committing you know, a crime... You buy groceries or something, you know? Right, you're buying bother. groceries, you shouldn't, you shouldn't be bothered, right? So, it's funny that you've had that experience, all your friends had that experience, and a million other people had that experience, you know? You know, they just hired... They're, they have a, a three million dollar budget to hire sixteen new police officers, but let me tell you, the, that's a shoestring budget for that many people. Right, it's over a long period. It's over like a couple years. It's over like a three year period. But check this out: Boeing is moving to South Carolina. Yeah, Washington State, done fucked that up. So oh, when when good. Boeing leaves, oh my God, they're it's game over. It's oh, yeah. game over. Well, cool, man. Nice talking to you. What's your name, man? Dave. Oh, cool. Have a good one. Enjoy your day. Watch out for Everett Cops. Uh, yeah, yeah.